Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very interesting question from MathEgvam. So which one is bigger? On the left side we have 1.01 to the power 100, or we have 2 on the right side. And right now let's test our school knowledge, right now write your assumption, write your solution down into the comment section. What, what, what do you think, which one is bigger on the left side or on the right side? And of course right now I'm going to solve it and then we will check our answer. So first of all let's look closely at this expression on the left side. So I'm going to write it right here on the left side. As a result, we have 1.01 to the power to the power 100. Let's try to rewrite it in another way. Okay, uh, 1.01 we can easily write it as mm, one. We have one plus one over 100. Okay, one over 100. So one over, over 100 equal to 0 0.01. We add the, to this expression. We add one, and as a result, we have. 1.01 but don't forget about our power we have this 100 right here as a power and what does this power mean it means that we multiply these parentheses by each other 100 times okay so for example we have uh, 2 to the power 3 we need to multiply this 2 times 2 times times 2 and right now let's try to write this this sequence from left side to right side so this expression let's start it um, for example on the left side let's do this so we have 1 plus 1 over 100 we're gonna raise to the power 100 so this is equal to so as a result we have the first parenthesis 1 plus 1 over 100 we have the second parenthesis 1 plus 1 over 100 we have the third one let's write it okay let's write the third one 1 plus 1 over 100 we have a lot of these parentheses between this expression we have the previous one 1 plus 1 over 100 and we have the last one 1 plus 1 over over 100 so this is our expression and of course we need to underline that right here we have this extremely important moment right now we're gonna underline that right here we have 100 expressions so we have 100 100 times we have 100 parentheses according to this powers thing we're gonna have like one two three four 100 100 parentheses so this is our expression on the left side right now let's rewrite a little bit our expression on the right side so as a result we have our two on the on the on the right side okay so let's write it right here on the bottom of it so we have our our two and i'm going to show you a really tricky method how can we do this two can be written as 200 200 over over 100 okay this is a correct way how can we do this 200 over 100 of course equal to equal to and right now i'm going to show you a really mm, I'm going to show you a really tricky sequence so as a result we have 2 equal to this 200 over 100 i, I can express as a product of 100 elements so just look at it so i want to write this 2 as 101 over 100 over 100 times 102 over 101 times 103 over 102 and a lot of these a lot of these expressions we have 199 over 198 times 200 over 199 so if you look closely we can easily cancel a lot of this a lot of elements from here because we can easily cancel 101 with this 101 102 with this 102 103 and a lot of these elements i'm going to cancel between this expression so i'm going to cancel 198 with the previous one i'm going to cancel 199 with this one and i'm going to end up with 100 right here and 200 right here so we're going to cancel a lot of these expressions between this 100 and 200 and we end up with 200 over 100 and 200 over 100 equal to 2 so this is a correct expression for us we have 2 so we can easily express this 2 in in this way and right now let's let's look closely at these at these elements how many elements do we have in this in this sequence in this expression of course 100 because we start with the 100 we end up with the with the 200 so as a result we have 100 elements but okay we have 100 elements right now let's look closely at the, each of these each of these elements we have 101 over 100 how can we write it 101 over 100 we can write as 1 plus 1 over 1 over 100 what about the second element 102 over 101 we can write it as 1 plus 1 over 101 okay third one 1 plus 1 over 1 over 102 and as a result we move to the last one we have 1 plus 1 over 198 and the last one 1 
plus 1 over 190 99. Maybe a lot of students don't understand uh, this is the same thing or not the same. Of course, let's 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 prove it real quick. Let's add 1 plus 1 over 100. Of course, we will have... Mm, I don't want to write on the bottom of it. Of course, we will have the same 101 over 100. But right now, this one, I'm going to add it. So as a result, we have 101 as a common denominator. And in our numerator, we will have 101 plus 1. As a result, we have 102 over 101. So as a result, we will have this, this expression. So this is, I'm talking about the second one. The third one going to be absolutely the same. We have 102 and we have 102 right here and plus and plus 1. So we will have absolutely the same thing. So this expression is also great for us to compare with the first one. So right here we have the first one and right here we have the second one. But I'm, I'm, I want to write it uh, close to each other. So right now let's, I'm going to rewrite it real quick, okay? On this I'm going to split it first of all. I'm going to split it and I'm going to start with the with the with this expression real quick. So as a result I'm going to write it as uh, 1 plus 1. I just want to rewrite it real quick, just for better understanding. I'm going to rewrite it to the power 100. As I said before, we have 1 plus 1 over 100. We have 1 plus 1 over 100. And of course, 1 plus 1 over 100. We have a lot of these expressions. We have the previous one, 1 plus 1 over 100. And the last one, 1 plus 1 over 100. And of course, right here, I don't want to write it once more, we have 100 expressions. Okay, and I'm going to write the same thing with the 2. So 2 equal 2. Uh, on the bottom of it, I'm going to write 1 plus 1 over 100. From here, yeah? We have 1 plus 1 over 101. 1 plus 1 over 102. <clears throat> we have 1 plus 1 over 198. And we have the last one, 1 plus 1 over 199. <coughs> yeah, sorry. Okay, we have two expressions, the first one and the second one. And of course, we need to compare. So which one is bigger? Maybe on the bottom bigger, or maybe on the top is bigger. Maybe this is equal expression. So right now, let's see what, what, what we have right here. We have 100 parentheses on the bottom, 100 parentheses on the top. We have absolutely the same first parentheses. So in our head, we can easily cancel this first parentheses only in our head because we don't need to compare it. We have absolutely the same, absolutely the same thing. And of course, keep in mind that right here we have 100, 100 expressions. Okay, 100 expression, which allows us to compare it. Okay, so 100, 100 expressions right here. And right now, let's look closely what do we have. We have 1 over 100 all the time in our, according to our first expression. And we have 1 plus 1 over 101. So as you can see, this 100 from here, it looks like increased by 1 each time. So we not we don't have like 100. We have 101. And right now, let's look closely. Of course, we need to find which parenthesis is bigger because we multiply and so it means the bigger parenthesis the bigger parenthesis we need the, we, then we can say that this is a, a bigger a bigger value okay so right now let's compare for example uh, this parenthesis with this one what we can see right here we have one okay one one we have 100 in our denominator and 101 in our denominator but we need the bigger second expression we need uh, th this expression bigger than the, this one and of course the 100 1 over 100 going to be greater than this one because we divide this one by a greater denominator so, if you don't understand, I'm going to show you this uh, tricky way. Of course, when we have 2 over 3 and we have 2 over 6, so which one is bigger? Of course, bigger going to be this one, because we divide this 2 by not 6, but 3. So, it means that bigger, bigger denominator, it means the lower the lower expression at all. Okay, so uh, as a result, we can easily say, okay, 1 half and 1 over over 100. Of course, we divide this one over one. Uh, we divide this one by 100, and divide this one by two. Which one is bigger? Of course, one half is greater than one over 100. So, we don't need this greater denominator because a greater denominator it means not like bigger, bigger fraction. Okay, so it means that these expressions on the bottom is lower than this one. It's less than this expression on the top because we divide this 1 over 100 on the top, 1 over 101 on the bottom. So it means that this expression right here is less than this on the bottom. So each of these expressions going to be less than this one on the on the top. And we're going to say that this parenthesis to the power 100 going to be greater than this than these two. Okay, so let's write our final answer. So 1 plus 1 over 100, 1 over 100 to the power 100, 
or in the beginning we had a different thing we had uh, 1.01 .01 to the power 100 so let's use this one it's for better understanding so let's forget a little bit about this fraction so 1.01 .01 to the power 100 and 2 and as you can see right here each of these parentheses is going to be greater than this on the bottom so this expression is going to be greater greater than 2 and I really I uh, find uh, the exact value of this one of 100 1.01 .01 to the power 100 and I uh, find really interesting uh, proof for us because this expression is going to be equal to 2.7 and of course 2.7 is greater uh, is greater than 2. So it was my solution to this question. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you understand because the key moment is right here to see that we have absolutely the same amount of expressions. We have 100 on the top, 100 on the bottom and the main thing is to see that bigger denominator means lower fraction. So this uh, second, second expression in each of these parentheses on the top going to be greater than this second expression on the on the bottom because of this denominator bigger denominator means means like, like less fraction so one half is greater than one over 100 but we are if we are talking about numerator it means that bigger numerator bigger fraction so as a result for example we have the same uh, denominator so we have seven and we have seven right here bigger numerator bigger fraction so for example nine right here and two right here of course it works in that way numerator works exactly in this in this way but when we have a bigger denominator it means that lower lower fraction so bigger denominator right here it means that this fraction is less than this one half okay so i really hope you i really hope you understand it so it was my solution to this question i really hope you understand it i really hope you enjoy it and you can easily you can easily write a question down into the comment section it will be really interesting to read about it so thank you everyone for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself also write to respond what do you think about it and take care of yourself see you in the next videos and have a great day